Historically, using a non-Apple branded display with a Mac has been a challenge forever. Most of the time, it's plagued by slow and cumbersome physical buttons, and it lacks the it just works functionality that comes bundled in with most Apple products these days. And syncing two or more monitors up together, like I have behind me, can be downright impossible to get right without working some voodoo magic or having the right software. So today, I'm gonna to be showing you a pretty neat little software tool that you can use to finally regain the magic of having an Apple branded display without having to shell out at least $1,500 and up to, what, $6,000 it is nowadays for an Apple branded display. So a little bit of a technical backstory here. A lot of monitors do come with various ways to adjust display settings via software, but most are buggy and nearly all will not play well with the Mac. Unless you have a Dell monitor like I have behind me and use their DDM, Dell Display Manager software. DDM is a pretty good tool that seems to work well with most of the Macs that I own, but there's some problems that drove me away from using DDM completely. Mainly some weird backlight problems that shut off the right side backlight of both monitors after it came awake from sleep and just various inconsistencies with brightness between both displays and things along that nature. Since DDM was so buggy, I did some searching and found an app called Monitor Control that seems to help alleviate all the problems that I had previously while keeping all the functionality that I wanted and then some. I do want to let you know that this video is not sponsored by Monitor Control or anyone else right now. And I just wanted to make this video to make sure that all my Mac gearheads with third-party monitors know about tools like this. Let's head to the computer, check it out. Installing Monitor Control is just as easy as installing any other app on Mac OS. Basically, find their GitHub page, find the download link, download it to your hard drive, and then uh, go ahead and install. It's gonna want you to drag Monitor Control to the Applications folder, then you're gonna wanna open it up, now you will have to go into system preferences and change some security and privacy settings and it will guide you through this process. And now that we have monitor control installed, we will be able to go into our toolbar up top and see that we have both displays enabled and we are able to change brightness and volume for both of them. Now, my Dell monitors don't support volume in the displays and I have external speakers anyway, so I'm not gonna use that, but uh, it's pretty cool. So we are gonna to wanna to change a couple settings before we start using monitor control freely. We wanna disable smooth brightness transitions and disable combined hardware and software dimming. We just want hardware dimming, not software dimming. Next, we're gonna head over to the app menu and then uh, disable show volume sliders in menu and make sure that we're using combined sliders for both displays. This way, one slider controls both the displays instead of two sliders controlling two displays. Under keyboard, under screen to control, we're gonna wanna change that to change for all screens instead of the other two options that they have there. That way it'll change brightness for both displays at the same time. And last but not least, we're gonna head to the displays menu where we're gonna disable Mac OS volume OSD and avoid gamma table manipulation. This is so it doesn't change the colors around on you. And a couple settings specific to my monitors, not everybody has to do this. And that's basically it. Your keyboard control should be able to uh, adjust the display brightness for both your displays at the same time. Pretty cool. And as always, I'll leave a link down in the video description so you can check out monitor control for yourself. So hopefully after watching this video, you learned a little something about monitor software controls. And now you also know a pretty handy little app that can give you back that little bit of Apple magic that you've been missing for so long. <laughs>